Do you have an abnormal pap smear and you're instantly freaking out? Let's talk about how often this happens and how often it turns into something bad or not. Hi, I'm your local OBGYN. I love women and let's talk about it. First of all, an abnormal pap does not mean you have cancer. This is like my mantra every single day. It means that the cells don't look textbook like we're expecting them to, which means we have to either take a closer look or watch you more closely, but it does not mean the C word. So what does your pap smear mean? So first we have ASCUS, abnormal cells of undetermined significance. This is the most common type of abnormal pap. Now about 90% of this will clear on its own and it's often called caused from inflammation or HPV. Then we have low grade cells, which is sort of a little bit more technically abnormal, caused again from HPV. 70 to 80% are gonna clear on their own and not progress onto something more concerning. We can also have high grade cells. Now I still see it, it's probably less than a fraction of 1% of return of pap smears. This has a slightly lower chance of clearing independently and if left sort of untouched has a higher chance of turning into something precancerous and cancerous where you know one in ten could theoretically progress on if left alone there's also some variations like ascus cannot rule out h so abnormal cells cannot rule out high grade this is a very small fraction of the abnormal cell paps that come back then there's a special subset called atypical glandular cells. This is a little different because it's potentially also reading an abnormality coming up from your uterus. If you get atypical glandular cells, you may actually need not just a look at your cervix, but an evaluation of your uterus as well. So if you have an abnormal pap result, most of these are gonna start a conversation with your gynecologist to determine what do you need to do next. And most of the time, it's gonna be a closer look with a colposcopy. There's very rare instances where we would say, hey, there's something really funky going on. Let's go straight to a procedure where we shave something more out. I have very, very rarely seen on a pap smear an actual straight up cancer diagnosis come back. So with these abnormal results, what you need to know is that most of these are very manageable. Cervical cancer has become more and more rare because when we find these abnormalities, we watch them and we determine if we need to step in and manage them with something way more minor than the big drama of having to treat a big overt cancer because in 2025, thank goodness cervical cancer rates are super low.